In today's video, are there any benefits to lifting weights while you're in a caloric deficit? Hey guys, what's going on? Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and today's video topic is going to discuss the benefits or lack thereof of lifting weights while you're in a caloric deficit. The question comes from my Instagram, so if you're interested in having a question answered, direct message me. I will take a screenshot and I'll come across your question um, when I get the chance. And I appreciate you guys doing that. I've been getting some great questions. And at first I thought this question was rather silly because I love to lift. I love lift. So I thought, what do you mean? Are there any benefits? But then I started thinking about it. And from a logical perspective, we hear this all the time. You can't build muscle while you're in a caloric deficit. Why? Well, because a caloric deficit means you are catabolic over the course of an entire day. To build muscle would require being anabolic, meaning you are going to add tissue to your body. So would there be any benefit to lifting weights while you are in a caloric deficit? So I want to talk about a couple different scenarios. The first scenario, you're severely overweight. You have 100 or more pounds to lose and you don't have a lot of experience lifting weights. So is it beneficial for this person to train while they are trying to lose weight. Well, a few things are going to happen initially. If you start a resistance training program as a new lifter, you're going to be what we call a hyper responder, or you're going to see a lot of progress. So this person that wants to lose a lot of weight, drastic weight, five, 10 pounds a week, whatever it might be, would there be a benefit because you're going to be creating such a large caloric deficit? Well, yes, there would, because you see your, your human bi biology is going to allow you to increase lean body mass at the same time you lose body fat. This is one of the few times that it's actually possible to add muscle and lose body fat at the same time. And that is when your body fat is well above your set point and your muscle mass is well below your natural, what it would be if you had been training for some time, okay? Now, as we become intermediate and advanced lifters, it does get more and more difficult to add muscle and lose fat at the same time. The next scenario that would allow that to happen would be someone who had a lot of training experience in their past, but then quit lifting for a year, five years, 10 years. Then we get into something called muscle memory. I did a really cool video on this recently. Some research came out and the mass publication talked about just what the mechanism behind muscle memory was really cool stuff. And it actually showed that there are some benefits to training. And then if you stop and then train again, you're going to get those benefits to keep up with. It's not like you have to start from scratch again, okay? So that scenario, I would really suggest that someone gets into lifting weights and, here, and there's a few reasons why. If you just focus on fat loss, yes, you're going to lose a lot of body fat initially, but your body composition is going to be very questionable, okay? Without muscle mass underneath when the when the body fat comes off you're going to be left with a lot of loose skin and a lot of just jaggly muscle body parts you're not going to really feel like there's anything tight to your physique if you are able to lift some weights and i'm not talking you have to be a bodybuilder but if you can get into two three four days a week of doing some resistance training when the body fat comes off you're still going to have some shape to the physique there's also some benefits to metabolism the more lean body mass you have the better your metabolism. In fact, all the research shows that if you combine diet with resistance training and exercise, the, the effects are better than one alone on fat loss. So you're just going to speed up the process. The issue might be initially when you're adding some lean body mass and losing some body fat, there might be a net no change on the scale, which can be kind of, kind of scary if your goal is to see the scale weight go down. If that's the case, maybe you wait a little bit longer to lift or what I have my clients do is track measurements. You see, things like the waist are pure body fat. That's right. So if the scale is the same, but your waist has come down two or three inches, well, you know you've lost pure body fat and you've added some lean body mass. Thus, the change on the scale was not what you expected, but we are improving body composition. Let's talk about the next scenario. 
So for the typical person that would go into a caloric deficit, you want to get into a leaner state of body weight or you just want to look better. You didn't really specify, I'll put the question up here for you guys. He didn't really specify where he was coming from, what his goals were. He just said, is there any benefit? And I want to point to a study. So years ago, my friend Chris Foz, while at the University of Oklahoma getting his PhD in exercise science, did a contest prep and they documented it, creating a case study of his prep. Now, as a natural bodybuilder, the goal is to lose an extreme amount of body weight. Chris is a big guy, well over 200 pounds, and he had to lose around 30 to 40 pounds of body fat to get into stage condition. So during this process, he's losing body fat for six months. They documented the entire process. Now during that six months, a lot of things happened that you would expect to happen during a caloric deficit. The sex hormones like testosterone got really low. Things like cortisol became elevated, chronically high. And when you look at the hormone, just the picture of Chris during this time, you would think, man, he must really be suffering. There's no way he's in good shape or has good lean body mass. Well, not the case. He actually qualified to compete at the World Championships of Natural Bodybuilding that year. And so you can see the only reason that this was able to happen was because Chris is a natural bodybuilder. Through that process, he kept lifting weights. So much so, in fact, that he lost very little lean body mass. Now, he lost a lot of tissue, but he didn't lose a lot of muscle and he didn't lose a lot of strength. And the real reason, the driver for that, was because he was lifting the entire time. So I would suggest that it's more important to be resistance training when you're in a caloric restriction. Had Chris gone on this journey and reduced his calories a bunch, had all these changes to his hormones and not lifted, I think he would have been at risk for even greater muscle loss than if he had just stopped lifting alone and kept his calories the same. I think it would have been highly, highly catabolic. So yes, I think it's ultra important for you to lift weights and continue to lift weights the way you have been. In the past, there's been a philosophy of when you wanna get lean, you lift high reps. When you wanna get big, you lift low reps. Well, that's been disproven. There is no benefit to fat loss when you lift high reps. The benefit would be, okay, well, maybe while you're in the gym, you get your heart rate up a little higher, but we're not using the resistance training as a means to get lean. We do that through cardio and diet, okay? We can create a caloric deficit that way. When you're in the gym lifting weights, you wanna use that time to build, and if you're not building, if you're someone like Chris, who is a very advanced lifter and was dieting for prep, keep muscle, okay? Keep as much muscle as you can while you get your body fat as low as possible for competition ready. Now for you, I don't know exactly what your situation is, but I cannot, imagine a scenario where it would not be beneficial for you to continue to lift hard while you're in a deficit. That's going to be it for me today, guys. This is Paul from ProPhysique.com. I hope you're having an awesome Wednesday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.